Hello and welcome to another free tutorial video brought to you by BeYourOwnIT.com where we provide help with hardware issues, software issues, spyware, viruses, uh, computer buying guides, computer usage guides, a whole plethora of free information available at our website. And if this video does help you and uh, you'd like to keep updated, please, allow, please help us grow our community by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you a little bit about spyware removal. Uh, there are a lot of ways to uh, skin a cat, as they might say, as some people say. Although can't think of a time I've ever said that. Uh, but personally, if you ha there's two real thing, there's two uh, questions or two scenarios that can exist. One, if you already are infected and if you're infected poor or badly. Uh, the process is a little bit different. If you're looking just to get some basic protection, here's what you're going to want to do. Go to download.com and uh, download SpyBot Search and Destroy. I know AdAware is, uh, is downloaded more and it's more popular, but I've had better luck with SpyBot personally. If, if you prefer AdAware, you can, do, you can download that. But if it's not here in the most popular downloads, you can always search for it by name. Uh, the newest version is 1.6, so you're going to want to download that. And while this is downloading, I'm going to explain now, if you have a serious spyware infection, the, different, the only difference is, is that you're going to want to install this software in safe mode. The way to get to safe mode is to first download this file, but don't, don't try to install it. Don't attempt to install it. Restart your computer. And as soon as your computer turns on, start tapping the F8 key on the keyboard. Um, this is before you see the Windows screen. This is immediately after you press the power button. And then it will give you an option for safe mode. It will look just like Windows. And once you're in safe mode, the process will be exactly the same as I do right now. Once it's done downloading, you'll double click on it to install it. Select English. This is all standard, a standard installation. Again, if you prefer AdAware, that's fine. I'm by no means making any endorsements. I, I, I've used SpyBot more successfully, but I will admit there are times that I use both. If you have a serious infection, I'll use both uh, just to make sure I've gotten everything because it's difficult for them both to have the same definition files and the same... Uh, you know, pools of data. So sometimes one's a little bit ahead of the other one. And uh, if it's a really bad issue, then I use both. But if you're just looking for protection and uh, you don't have an existing problem, um, you know, just installing it will help prevent any further issues or might clean up anything that you don't see underneath the surface. So the big key with any spyware program, either Attaway or AdAware or SpyBot is you're going to want to update it frequently. Now when you install SpyBot it's going to ask you to create a registry backup which you should do. Then you should always search for updates. It'll find a bunch. You'll just pick whatever server you want. It doesn't matter. And you'll see there's lots of updates here. So you take them all. Choose download. And now it's going to download all the available updates for SpyBot. Uh, getting the latest updates will keep you abreast on the latest spyware infections, the latest tricks out there and vulnerabilities. Uh, the key is, or the, the fact of the matter is, you're, you're far more likely to get a brand new infection than you will one that's, you know, a few years old because those are the ones that are cycling around the internet. So after you've installed SpyBot uh, and then updated it, um, should load here in a moment. And this is what you'll see. At this point you may also want to search for updates again one more time just to make sure. And I would always recommend searching for updates every week. So it says nothing new. First step you're going to want to do is immunize. This is going to protect, this will protect your computer for existing vulnerabilities. Uh, this is a fresh install. It says there's 151,000 vulnerabilities. So we'll immunize. What this is going to do is it's going to prevent me from getting, uh, opening up myself to a lot of infections. This is the feature that I really like about SpyBot over AdAware. 
Um, not that there's anything wrong with Adaware, and like I said, I use them both in conjunction. But I do like the Immunize feature. I have had some problems with Immunize where it causes some weird issues with certain softwares or some certain conflicts, so you may not be able to use this feature. But what's nice about it is that as you do your updates uh, to the definitions, you'll be able to continue to immunize your system and protect it against uh, any infections or anything getting past your virus scan or even SpyBot or whatever spyware protection that you may have. And then once you've immunized, um, that's something you'll want to check every now and again. But for the most part, uh, it's good. So as you can see, now it's completed and I'm fully immunized. Now we want to search and destroy. So if you have, you go to search and destroy and just hit check for problems. Now this scan will take quite some time. If you're somebody who has a serious spyware infection and you're doing this from safe mode, it may take even longer. But it's important to remember that uh, this is a great thing to do every couple of weeks just to scan your system, make sure everything's okay, and remove any questionable files as it finds things and it very well may find things on this computer um, you know I'll delete them you know, it's sim a simple checkbox will allow you to delete uh, whatever whatever infections it may find um, and as you can see if you can read this I'm not quite sure you'll be able to um, there it's checking for over 300,000 different spywares so just to give you an idea there's a lot out there most of them are harmless and most computers, the first time you run this, you're going to find stuff. Don't worry about it at all. Just delete it, and you're okay. If you've got a major infection, what you're going to want to do is, like I said, scan from spyware or from safe mode, restart your computer, and scan again uh, just to make sure that it's clean. Continue doing that until it's completely clean. So now that you see how to run SpyBot and... Uh, you know, rid your computer of any spyware. I hope this helps you. And remember, you can always email me at support at beyourownit.com. Please subscribe to our uh, videos if this helped you so you can keep updated as we do more.